All right, so today, instead of talking about fish, we're going to talk about Paul and how to make your bird love his cage. Now, I know I didn't have a lot of views with Paul lately, but uh, he's an amazing bird and I think you should all love him so much because he's the best. He is a laughing dove and this is his cage. Now, obviously, he is allowed to go out as ever he wants, uh, except during the night. Uh, so, what the hell are you doing? You're eating bark? <laughs> um, but yeah, one of the important thing about your bird is um, if you're going to get him a cage, don't force him to live all his life in his cage. Otherwise, he might get sad. So as you can see, he can fly. And one of the main thing is I made sure the cage looked as uh, interesting as possible in the outside. So not only in the inside, but in the outside as well. So fake plants. Uh, so he cannot like really eat that, but he can try to eat it. Um, also, this is like a fake nest that I did for him. So as you can see, um, he have some branches and stuff like that so he can, um, you know, play with it. He doesn't use it that much, for real. This branch is his favorite. He just sleep on a branch. Uh, he's not complicated at, at all. But um, one of the things I discovered, um, like searching on the internet, is that uh, you actually want a rectangular shape cage instead of like a round shape uh, cage because a round shape kind of uh, limit the space. Usually those cages are also smaller, so that's no good. Um, you also don't want too many branches in your cage, apparently. So I think we might uh, have too many branches in there. Like I could see myself removing this blue stick and putting the water like container uh on the place of the blue stick uh that could help don't try to eat that Paul. <laughs> he's funny um also from what i've learned um you want to allow some shades in this cage so this is why uh, some people will like either put a blanket in a part of the cage or uh, try to put like a wood plate on the top. I preferred to go on a more natural uh, way. So I have picked up some driftwood uh, as well as obviously all the leaves to simulate a tree. But again, this is only his cage. He doesn't spend that much time uh, in it. The only time where I place him actually in the cage is when we are not at home because I don't want Paul to get stuck somewhere and then uh, since we're not there to help him, if, if he ever need help, then die. So, you know, the cage is only there when um, he needed to or when we're out. But other than that, he's always allowed outside. Uh, he is able to fly however he wants. Uh, he's able to explore the rest of the room. He likes to go on my lamp right there. Uh, he also likes to go on the shelf. So as you can see, he's been on the shelf quite a bit. <laughs> so one thing you need to consider is to, uh, like when you're allowing your bird to explore, he's going to shit everywhere. It's a bird. He's it's not a clean animal, sadly. Um, he, where, wherever he goes, you will have to clean after him. Um, but, you know, just allowing the your bird to explore out of the cage already, that will make him so much more uh, happy. Come here. Okay, don't come here. See, he can fly. <laughs> come here. Please. Please. Come here. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Mm, you're beautiful.
So usually when we are uh, at home, the only reason why he will enter his cage is to get some water or stuff. But sometimes he will go by himself on the ca in, in the cage, uh, even though he's free. So that means uh, he actually likes the cage. Uh, it's a place where he feel a lot of comfort, I guess, and like he feels secure. It's in a, um, you know, it's in a calm place. This is our study room, I guess. So like um, we're often in this room so he can see us and stuff. But like if ever we have some visitors home, uh, we can simply close the door right there. This is Jensen creeping out on us. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, the bird can just chill there. Uh, oh, he's going to drink. Yay, drinking time. Drink. Yeah, you like to drink, eh? Um, now, those laughing doves, they really don't need a lot. Uh, they don't need toys. Like, when we bought the cage on Kijiji, the woman gave us so many toys. And frankly, he doesn't play with any of them. Uh, it's not like a parrot. A parrot would need a lot of toys and stuff. But a dove, it's like a pigeon. They don't play they just eat and and poop uh that's the main attraction of the day so as you can see he came naturally in the cage uh i didn't uh, i don't believe i put him in the cage i think he flew by himself right i have short time memories sometimes um i did place a little mirror right there for him uh it's not a big mirror and as you can see it doesn't take like a lot of space in the in the cage it's only just you know, if he needs some company. Um, they are not really social animals. Like, they don't live in big groups in the wild. They usually just form a couple and then breed. We're not sure we are comfortable with the fact that... Uh, it's because the male makes a lot of noises. Uh, this is a female. Um, and she got, like, attacked by her father when she was very young. So we're not sure how she would react to the presence of another bird. Oh, <laughs> playing with the mirror right there. Uh, so, and as you can see, a lot of twigs and stuff on the ground so she can play with it. Then just um, some food also, a big diamond right there. It's random, it's cool. Um, a pine. Uh, like pineapple, um, how, how do you call that? What, what do you call this thing in English? I almost called it a pineapple because that would be the literal like translation in French, like pomme de pain. Pine is pain and apple is pomme, but it's certainly not a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh yeah, one of the main things he likes to play with is this little thing. Oh, sorry, that thing. He just loves this, like, sheet holder, I guess. Look at, look at how, how interested he got. He, he wants to play with it. Look, <laughs> look at this. Yo, know, to last night I dreamed about T Rex, and I'm pretty sure it's because of Paul. Paul really looked like a, a very mini raptor, but I, I made a very strange. It's really random part of the video. Uh, I dreamed I was like a female T Rex, and there was a big alpha male being like toxic masculinity T Rex, and he was like covered with feathers, which is like accurate. But some of the less dominant. Uh, T-Rex didn't have feathers, they had scales, it was really weird. Uh, now I want to draw those T-Rex because they were looking awesome, like with beautiful colors. Uh, it's all just a really random dream. Uh, and it's all caused because of Paul, you know, Paul is a bird and birds are kind of the descendant of T-Rex. So this little creature right here, um, like six, 65 million years ago, it was dominating the world, and now look at this. <laughs> Sometimes life evolves just backwards. Oh god, 
You were you were once a king, and now look at you. I'm just picking random stuff. Yeah. And yeah, so as you can see, he enjoys his cage. Um, he have plenty. Of, like wow, look at him. I was talking about a cage, and he just decided to explore the cage. Wow. Um, you cannot train your animal to do that. So as you can see, he have a lot of uh, digging material. Um, it's really cheap. The substrate. It's like I think I paid like ten dollars for massive bags. And I paid it like in summer. This summer, like oh, even it was like what June, and now we are in December. So like a bird like this, not expensive at all. We are escaping the cage. All right. You want to play with the twig. Admit it. You want the twig. I know what you want. I know what you want. You want the twig. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Come on. Get the twig. Is this what you want? Look at this foot though. That's a T-Rex foot. Admit it. Oh. What is this? What is this? You want it? Oh yeah. I know you want it. Come on. Come here. So uh, one of my most popular video uh, on the internet is like me playing with a blue jay. Um, and many of you didn't ask the question, but like, is Paul smarter or dumber than, than the blue jay? Uh, Paul is really dumb. Uh, I'm, so I'm sorry, Paul, you're not as smart as the, as the blue jay. Like the blue jay was next level. You're 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 really you're really not that smart though. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Or woman. Sure, yeah. You're 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 female, but I I don't assume your gender. I assume you're a bird though. Am I wrong thinking you're a bird? Ooh. Now you want you're feisty. You don't like me playing with the food, eh? <laughs> uh, I love you, girl. Oh, good bird. Oh, good bird. Oh, yeah, I'm petting you. Oh, you don't like that, eh? Oh. Alright, well. Come back, come back. I like to uh, throw some seeds, like, everywhere. Because she does that too, but also because like that allow her to like explore and do some stuff during the day. It's a uh, it's pretty simple to keep a dog. Not gonna lie, like compared to to fish keeping, bird keeping is so much easier. Oh my god, uh, <laughs> so much less expensive. First of all, this bird I got it for free. The cage was like fifty dollars. I don't know if I paid more like than like 150 bucks for the entire setup so far. That's including food and like everything really. Uh, like I have three uh, journal paper, so like that's easy for me to get. And you know, those birds they are really cheap by the way in um, in your. Um, pet store yeah pet store uh they're really easy to buy and like they're a great pet so anyway i hope you've learned something today and i will see you all pretty soon in the next one please give some like to paul oh my god i want some views guys please bye